So this video is actually twofold. Number one, it's to show you how much rubbish, thatch and moss, debris is in your lawn. That's the first and important um, part of this video. And the second one is this scarifier that I'm using. It's just a little handy scarifier that I've bought as a secondary one. This isn't my go-to uh, scarifier. I've got a, an Apache, I think it's 24 inch, I'm not really sure, um, industrial scarifier. Um, yeah, it does the job great, but it's heavy and massive. And this was just to do loans where uh, the other is inaccessible or for the likes of this loan, which is one of my maintenance loans that I can just simply in a, in commas uh, run over it. Although this is to show you uh, the unexpected amount that's coming out after you do a so-called run over. In other words, it needs a proper scarify, even when you think it doesn't. Okay, so you live in lane. Right, I had this cartridge on, and me personally, because there's so many of these, I think these would be better for taking out the moss and the thatch, but that's just me. The other blades you get on here, I'll show you it in a second. I I thought this was for more verti cutting and um, cutting any strands of grass and also putting some lines in, in, in the lawn for if you're overseeding or anything like that. That's just what I was thinking. Um, these, I've noticed, they've worn down. They were much longer than that. So when I've been using the, this on the lawn, um, it, on the... On the the lowest setting it isn't taken out um, what I thought it would take out so I've just done one two three th these stripes here with with this one and I've just swapped it and look what this brought out on the same setting so I'm gonna lower it or hire the machine sorry because it doesn't need to go that low but look what it took out already so let's have a little go with that one and I'll uh, I'll, I'll contact them and see if these what length these should be because I'm, I'm sure they've worn down they were much bigger than that so that could be a downfall with it and as I say it is only cheap so let's just um I'll re I'll go over those lines now with the bladed one I'll show you that anyway while we're here so they're the bladed ones Okay, let's, uh, let's see what that does. As you can see, that's already been done. So, <laughs> people are asking, as I say, this is why I'm doing the little videos, um, what it's like. Well, I thought that was brilliant when I first used it, but it has obviously worn down, so it's not reaching into the lawn as much. Look at that. And that will take a, a, a lot longer to wear down because it's, it's thicker steel. It still probably will wear down. So I'll carry on with this anyway, and then I'll, uh, I'll give it a little cut, and I might as well just show you that at the end. Another little tip as well, instead of going over and overlapping like we do when we use a lawnmower, and sometimes I do it when I use my other scarifier, these wheels are so small that the waste can 
clog the wheels up a little bit and if you're putting pushing too much you know you could break it as i keep saying it is only weak so what i'm going to tend to do now what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to miss a wheel's length so i'm not going to go right up to that so i will miss a strip and then i'll move this and go over the strips that i've missed yes it's a little bit more work but in the long run it's a lot less um wear and tear on the machine and you know it's only going to put a couple of minutes on the job so i'll do that so each stripe i will have a, have a sort of a missed stripe and then a missed stripe and you'll see anyway I'll, I'll get on with that also and i'll be honest i did a video here a while back it was actually on this job where i said you have to cut the lawn first before scarifying now i don't think you do simply because i'm using an industrial um powerful um scarifier which will the blades will just chop the grass anyway and that works fine on this particular one this grass is probably too long i'll be honest with you so i'm taking it easy but the reason why i haven't cut it is because it would have been three cuts it would have been cutting it with the lawnmower going over with the scarifier then going over with the lawnmower again you know i'm just not prepared to do that not today so i am going over it but i am taking it easy uh, but really speaking for this machine i would cut the grass really or I'm recommending you to cut the grass, although I'm not doing it. But listen to Lee. Doesn't mean you have to, you know. Work it out yourself. <laughs> All right, I'll carry on. So now I'm just going to go over the little strips that I mentioned before that haven't been done. I'm still amazed how much comes out. Well, all this you can see here on the path, this path is all from this lawn. It's had a scarify just that way. I've done it all that way once. I've done this one uh, twice. This is, I've scraped it all off. That's what that is up there. And then I've just gone over it again, but vertical. And what I'm going to do is scrape this off, take the scarify across with ways on both lawns. So I'll get on with that. And under no circumstances, pull the machine backwards while it's working. I do tilt it, it doesn't touch the uh, lawn when I'm pulling it backwards. Do not be tempted to do it, you'll just ruin the machine and ruin the blades. It's not built to go backwards.
So, as the title of this video explains, I am shocked. And I'm always shocked when I do scarifying. But these are my maintenance loans. These are loans that I've scarified last year. Um, and I scarify them when I think they need them. But for some reason, the moss just crept in. Uh, this is no moss. Some of it's thatch, which is the, the uh, outer shell of the grass, sort of dead grass. Um, you know, I still get shocked. So this is to just stress how much rubbish is in your lawn and how much needs to come out. And although I've only just said it two seconds ago in the video, for those that have skipped little bits of the video, and they may have skipped past it, do not pull the machine back while it's working. When I pull it backwards, it looks like I'm dragging it back, but the blades are out the ground, so the blades aren't in, in the ground while it's going backwards. It's out this way and this way on both lawns. And what I'm going to do now is just get it raked up and... I'm going to try and put it in the bin. It'll probably be too much for the bin, but we'll see. But that's what's going to happen now. Clean it up, and then I'll take the mower over. And after all that, we're just adding some fertiliser. So that's it, all done. Um, when I say all done, you can obviously put grass seed on it if you want to. I haven't this time. I'll just see what it's like next time I come, and I may add some. Um, but yeah, you just see what comes out, and that needs to come out your lawn to let it breathe, and to let it grow better. So... Hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe. See you on the next video.